Have you ever gazed at the moon and wondered if it's getting smaller? It might sound like a plot from a science fiction novel, but recent studies from NASA suggest that our celestial neighbor has indeed been shrinking over the past few hundred million years. Now, we're not talking about a dramatic downsizing overnight. This process has been gradual, with the moon losing more than 150 feet in circumference. But what's causing this lunar slimming, you may ask? The culprits are the cooling of the moon's core and the tidal forces exerted by our planet Earth. As the moon cools down, it contracts, leading to a decrease in its size. The gravitational tug of war between Earth and the moon also plays a part in this shrinkage. It might seem like a distant concern, but could this lunar shrinkage impact us or future missions to the moon? The moon isn't just shrinking silently, it's shaking too. As the lunar surface contracts, it leads to the formation of faults or cracks in the moon's surface. Now these aren't just your garden variety cracks. These faults result from the moon's shrinkage and are the epicenters of what we call moonquakes. Yes, you heard it right, moonquakes. Much like their earthly counterparts, these are seismic events, but with a lunar twist. Due to the stark gravitational difference between the moon and earth, moonquakes pack quite a punch. They feel stronger and last significantly longer than earthquakes on earth. Just imagine, a tremor that just goes on and on, shaking the moon's surface for quite some time. It's not just an eerie thought, but a reality that our lunar neighbor is living through. These moonquakes aren't just interesting phenomena, they could pose real risks for future lunar missions. Astronauts heading to the moon might need to pack more than just their moon boots. As the moon continues to shrink, it's not just the lunar landscape that's changing. This could have significant implications for future moon missions, particularly those aiming to establish a lunar outpost. Imagine this, as the moon's core cools and shrinks, it pulls the surface inward, creating a network of cliff-like faults. These faults can trigger moonquakes, sending shockwaves across the lunar surface. And where there are quakes, landslides aren't far behind. The slopes of the lunar region could become much more unstable, adding an extra level of risk for lunar explorers. Landing sites might need to be reconsidered, and structures built on the moon's surface would need to be designed to withstand these moonquakes and landslides. It's a bit like trying to build a house on a sand dune that's constantly shifting. But don't worry, short-term missions like the Artemis mission are unlikely to be affected. So, while our moon may be getting a little smaller, our dreams of lunar exploration are as big as ever. What about us down here on Earth? Will we notice our moon's dramatic weight loss? You might find yourself pondering. Well, the good news is, no drastic changes are expected for us Earthlings. You see, the Moon's shrinkage is not expected to significantly alter the way we experience its presence in our lives. That means the awe-inspiring lunar eclipses, the enchanting full moons, and the rhythmic tidal cycles we've grown accustomed to are here to stay. The Moon's gentle glow will continue to light up our night skies, playing hide-and-seek with the clouds. Its phases will remain a constant, marking the passage of time as they have for millennia. And as for the tides, they will continue their dance with the moon, ebbing and flowing in a delicate balance of gravitational forces. So while our celestial neighbor may be going through a bit of a change, life as we know it will carry on just the same. Our nights will remain beautifully moonlit, and our oceans will continue to ebb and flow. So, what does the future hold for our shrinking moon? The intrigue around this celestial enigma is far from over. In fact, it's just the beginning. Scientists and researchers worldwide are working relentlessly to delve deeper into the moon's shrinkage, seeking answers to the countless questions that this phenomenon poses. Ongoing research is exploring the intricate relationship between the moon's core cooling and its consequent shrinkage. Advanced technology and innovative methodologies are being employed to understand the nuances of this process, its rate, and its implications. This knowledge is not just for academic interest, it's crucial for our future endeavors in lunar exploration. As we prepare for future lunar missions, understanding these changes becomes even more critical. It helps us anticipate potential risks, devise effective mitigation strategies, and ensures the safety of our astronauts. It can guide the placement of lunar outposts, inform us about possible landslides, 
and even help us predict the intensity of moonquakes. Our moon may be shrinking, but our knowledge and curiosity about it are certainly expanding.